for you. Randall Wiseman, Southeast Agnet. Ocala's information station, 1370 WOCA. Ocala! with Joe. Did I leave that like that? Uh, it. <laughs> today, the game is about Chinese food because today is National Chop Suey Day. Oh, good. Me Chop hungry. Suey. <laughs> <laughs> Wait 10 minutes. Me hungry again. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, Joe, have you been through a tropical storm before? Because I think we're going to have one this, this week. This oh, yes, Thursday. Me been, me, me been through. Not in Florida, but I have been through. Yes. Yeah, this is going to be. Up 50. in Connecticut, up in uh, North Carolina. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. 50 to 60 mile per hour winds. That's not. No. That's not good. No, in Connecticut, I lived, oh, a block from the shore, not even. Oh. And, and my. Long Island Sound there, and it came through, and we had relatives that lived inland. Guess what? Yeah. We went inland mm-hmm. and batten down the hatchet if it was there, and luckily it missed, and we we're okay. But yeah. Do you know uh, your other state, North Carolina, is going to get a one two hit? Tropical storm number eight is hitting there, and uh-huh. then tropical nine is probably going to make its way up there too. So. Right. Wow! But usually yeah. the mountains don't. The mountains well, buffer. Thank that part goodness. of the state, yeah. yeah, the yeah. But down, the, down below there, they're going to get it. The coastline, yeah. Okay, they're, they're going to get it. Can we give some stuff away? What do you got? I love to give. What stuff do you got? We got a twenty dollars gift card to Bob Wines Community Gardens, your gardening expert since nineteen fifty two. Bob Wines has all your gardening answers to all your gardening needs. That's right, twenty six ten Southeast Thirty Eighth Street, <gasps> right here in beautiful Old Cali. Remember, if you're a veteran, ten percent off with proper identification. That's a $20 gift card right there. And uh, <laughs> not yet. Okay, never mind. I, I gotta wait, I gotta I'll wait. do it. I'll do it. I'll do it without it. I don't okay, need you it. go ahead. Just, you sing. I'll sing, yeah. Working nine to five. <laughs> what a way to make a living just to stay alive. Okay, that's enough of that. Yay! I like that. <laughs> wait, I, I got it. Here it comes. <laughs> oh. Wait, 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 wait. Here it goes. That sounds the same thing I heard the other time. There, there we go. There it is. <laughs> Nine to five, the Ocala Civic Theater, right here on stage, uh, September eighth through October second. There you know it. It's a musical. It's a hilarious, high energy stage production based on the widely popular nineteen eighty movie. Nine to five, right here in Ocala, the Ocala Civic Theater. We're giving two tickets away to that. That's two. Thank you very much. And coming up, the thirty fourth annual <laughs> Ocala Shrine Rodeo. That's September second and third. I can't believe it's already this Friday coming. Wow! I know September. So we've got two tickets for Saturday to the Shrine Rodeo, and don't forget Cowboys Ride so kids can walk. We're going to give two tickets away to that. But not only that, even if you pick the non-winner. Ooh. Otherwise known as the loser. <laughs> We're going to give you two tickets to Friday nights. Ocala Rodeo. That's courtesy of Tito's. Tito's Homemade Vodka out of Austin, Texas. Tito's Homemade Vodka <laughs> is produced in Austin, Texas, the oldest legal distillery. They make it in batches, use old-fashioned pot stills, and taste test every batch to make sure you get the very best. Really? Oh, I that's like that it. job. That's it. That's it. Wow. So, so we're giving. T- so they supplied the tickets for for more tickets for Friday, and we're going to give a boatload of those tickets away during this week for the Ocala Shrines Rodeo. So keep listening. You never know. We're going to might give two or three or four away. You never never know. Nope. Ah, what's the title? Uh, we've got $106 Ooh. for this prize pack on Fun with Joe 2, the winner. And uh, for the uh, non-winner, uh, the two tickets to the rodeo is $36 for that. So, But if you or anyone in your household has won Fun with Joe in the past 30 days, you are ineligible to play for this $106 prize pack or the $36 two tickets. All right. The game today is all, all, all about Chinese food. Ooh, I love Chinese food. And the etiquette behind what you should be doing or not doing in a Chinese restaurant. You know, I learned something about Chinese food. Oh, po- it might be one of the questions. I better shut up then. <laughs> I'll wait. I'll wait. If it's one of the and, questions, I'll tell you. If remember, not, I'll tell you. If you can't answer and none of your lifelines can help you, then you can always get a question from left field. Yep. 
And they were all What'd you say? Chinese restaurants. Westfield! Oh, okay. <laughs> hey, hey. Yeah, I heard that. Okay. All right, if you want to play, we need you to call right now and bet on either Robin or Joe. The number is 622-9622-622. W-O-C-A. We'll be right back. The weather is brought to you by MyFWC.com. Safe footing is no accident. On this Monday, intervals of clouds and sun, breezy in the afternoon with a shower and thunderstorm around high 87 to 91. There'll be a shower with thunderstorm around Monday evening and partly cloudy later Monday night, though 73 to 77. Tuesday, more clouds and sun with a shower and heavy thunderstorm or two, especially during the afternoon hours. Watch for flooding downpours, a high 86 to 90. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Joe Lundberg. Are you wasting hundreds or thousands of dollars on termite retreat fees? If you're not with Turner Pest Control, you probably are. Turner Pest Control offers the industry's only termite and pest control package that never charges retreat fees, ever. You can get started today for only $99. This is a value of $500 or more. This includes treatments, installation of monitoring stations, quarterly pest control, and a lifetime guarantee. All for an unbelievable low $99. Even if you have another pest control provider, visit turnerpest.com to find out how you can avoid paying those high termite retreat fees. Hi, I'm Seth with AA Lock, Dock, and Security. Have you ever thought about the locks or security on your house or business? Have you ever wondered why the keys to your new car cost so much? Well, at AA Lock, Dock, and Security, we can help with securing your valuables. We can even replace those expensive transponder keys. We can give you the knowledge that no one else will. Call AA Lock, Dock, and Security at 867-1965. That's 867-1965. Yeah. Blame that drip coming down from the corner of the room. But where did I come from? I'll never tell. Own Dry Roofing can and will fix it right the first time using quality materials and will deal honestly and fairly with you, period. You can find Bone Dry Roofing on their website, Bone Dry Roofing, LLC.com, and Facebook at Bone Dry Roofing, LLC. Do it right before your roof needs a tarp to keep the elements out. Bone Dry Roofing stands behind their work to help make your home safe and secure, plus they have financing available. Remember, if you're not bone dry, then you're all wet. Hospice of Marion County has an urgent need for volunteers to share a conversation with someone. Run errands, hold someone's hand. All you need is a willingness to help others. Our volunteers believe the blessings they receive far exceed the services they offer. Will you consider serving, caring, and making a difference? Call today, 873-7441. Hospice of Marion County, making more moments of life possible. W-W-W-W-W-O-C-A This is W-O-C-A, News Talk 1370. This is James Snyder inviting you to join me each Sunday morning at 9.30 for Sunday Joy on 1370 AM 96.3 FM. All right, uh, 12 minutes down before 12 o'clock, and we have our players, Tom betting on Joe, and Nell betting on Robert. You said yep. it was 12 to 12? It is 12 to 12. Yeah. 12 to 12. 12 to 12. Now, now don't forget, now, if you win, if you lose, and you get these tickets, you're not you're not going to get zapped out of the 30-day thing. You're still in the 30-day thing. That yeah. is so nice. Everybody wins today. Everybody wins. Well, yeah. The winner wins yeah. more, that's all. The winner wins yeah. more. All right. You're more of a winner? Are you ready for the yeah. chi- Chinese food <laughs> questions in honor of today Ooh. being National Chop Suey Day? <laughs> I'm ready for Chop Suey. All right. On the Dum Jum Home. The first yeah, question is, yes. what is it called when the description of the food is a roasted duck from Beijing? What's it called? Duck on the glass. No, not uh, duck. Duck on- Larange. No, no. Oh, left field. Oh. All right. Uh, roasted oh. duck dish from Beijing. I don't know. Roasted duck, roasted duck dish. <laughs> roasted duck dish from a be- a be- Beijing duck. No, no, I know. The ro- ro- duck. Roasted duck. Oh, something king, uh, Peking duck. Peking duck is right. Ooh, okay. Ooh, duck duck Peking. One for Lino and me. Peking out from underneath the lid. Oh, That's right. 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 They serve the whole duck uh, on the plate, too. Oh, yeah. Uh, all right, what wood. do you call a Chinese style omelet with vegetables and meat added to it? Oh, gee. Um, what is the name of that? Chinese style omelet with oh fish. Chinese style oh, omelet. Oh gosh, yeah. it's a it's a oh man, I eat. Those. I'm going left field. I don't know that. It is. I don't know what. Call in Linnell. Call in Tom. Anybody? Go ahead. Chinese oh. style omelet with vegetables and meat. What is that called? Oh, chung kung fun I don't know. <laughs> Hong Kong fui. Um, Good morning. Do you, yeah, do you know? <laughs> Egg foo young. Egg foo young That's is right. It. All right. Who's the point for? That's it. 
Thank you very much. We're tied, one to one. All right, all right. I need all help I get today. Right. What are the primary eating utensils for chopsticks? Solid, solid Good foods job. in China. Yes, they're called yeah, chopsticks. Yeah. chopsticks. Ah. Although chopsticks today huh? are often made from plastic, <laughs> what was the original material? That bamboo. Food? Oh, I think Joe got Joe it. Joe got it wire. first. Yes, I, I used the bamboo one and I have a set of plastic at the house. Oh, okay. All right. Why is why? using forks and knives at the table seemingly barbaric to the Chinese people? What is it about forks and knives? Because they could be used as weapons. Exactly. There you go, Linda. How did you too. know that? Because she was attacked <laughs> one day by a man. <laughs> 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 All right. Oh. All right. The next one is a multiple choice question. Yeah. Good morning. Uh, you can only guess once. Oh, okay. And oh. Uh, then that's it. That's it. <laughs> All right. Uh, why must you never stand chopsticks upright in your rice? It's an insult. It's bad manners. So forth and so on. Bad luck. No, not bad luck. It's bad manners. It's it, insults. It's oh. bad manners, but why? Why is it bad Ooh. manners? It, there's a reason <laughs> for it. Part two. What? <laughs> well, you're not really answering the question. Why must you never stand chopsticks upright in your rice? <laughs> you got a part two. <laughs> oh, I didn't give you the choices. Let me give you the choices. Oh. Oh, okay. A, they resemble candles being burnt for lovers who have left. Oh. B, they resemble joss sticks used in rituals for the deceased. Oh. C, they resemble the male and female at war in families. <laughs> or D, they resemble knives pointing upwards toward heaven. I go with knives. Go pointing up towards heaven. That is wrong. There are three more choices. Go ahead, Robin. What are they again? Oh, gee. Candles being burned for lovers, joss used in rituals for the deceased, and they resemble male and female at war. Joss Yes. They resemble joss sticks used in rituals for three the deceased. Three to three. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Who knew that? I knew, I knew, I knew part, part one. I didn't know the rest of the part. Yeah. All right. <laughs> uh, here's oh. another multiple choice. What does slurping your soup signify? You like it. That's good enough. Yes. There you you're go. You're enjoying good the job. food. Yes. You're enjoying the food. It didn't even need the choices. I hear it's disgusting. What do you call no. a range of a range of light dishes served with Chinese tea? What is it called? It's a whole range of light dishes. Ah. Appetizers served with finger Chinese food. Tea. No, it's it's got they, a, get, they get eaten separately. It's, Go ahead. it's two words. The initials are DS. It's two words. Is DS? Yeah, DS. DS. Two words. And Duck sauce. What? what? Duck sauce. Duck sauce is wrong. Okay. Duck sauce. <laughs> Delicious yes. servings. Good morning, do you know? Dumpling small? No. Dim sum. Dim sum is oh. right. Oh. Dim sum. All right, who's the point for? Good job. All right. Would you like this, some of this? Yeah, I like this, some of that, and some of that over there, too. Okay. Right. What do you call a vegetarian dish usually enjoyed by Buddhists? Mmm. <sighs> Uh, it's uh, called uh, noodles. Lacking something. <laughs> <laughs> Left field. <laughs> oh, you got that. Oh, uh, a vegetarian dish. A vegetarian dish. dish usually enjoyed by Buddhists. Oh, that would be called a quiet supper. <laughs> oh my gosh! An egg roll? A vegetarian egg no, roll? It's called Buddha's delight. Buddha's delight. Buddha's delight. <laughs> yes. Okay. Right, who got Wasn't the, that the name of a, a song and lyric and music? Yes, it was. I think so. <laughs> that sexy girl. I think so. Oh, I don't know. What I'm was left that? Field. Who got left field? Uh, Robin. Here is your left field question, Robin. Do you ever play the lottery numbers found in a fortune cookie? Yes. Oh, that was easy. Yeah. Yes. Do you, Joe? I haven't had a fortune cookie in a long time. <laughs> Ooh, we should. We have, have bad fortune. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Said I would go be rich, gave full of me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, true or false, you can only answer once. Okay. And if you don't get it right, neither of you get the point. Okay. No left uh, True or false, cold beverages are not usually served at mealtimes by the Chinese. True. True is right. Good job. I know, I was there. The Chinese believe cold <laughs> drinks are not good for digesting foods. I know, I was there. All right. Good morning. Right, here's multiple choice. Which no. of the following foods is not a Chinese dish? Okay, time to write down stuff. Is it fried pancakes, maple dufu, Wonton or soba? Soba. I go with the fried. Robin is right. It is soba. Soba? soba? Yeah, soba Thank is you. a Japanese dish. Fried pancakes are actually Chinese. Really? Who I knew? Soba? Soba. Soba. S O B A. I wonder what that is, soba. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's I have to Google it to what soba is. All right. Yeah. What is stinky tofu? <laughs> Stuff that's been left over from last oh, night. <laughs> gee. Wow. What is stinky tofu? Left field. Crab meat. <laughs> stinky 
stinky, stinky tofu. tofu. What is stinky tofu? Oh my goodness! Uh, oh, rotten eggs? No. Wonton soup? No. <laughs> no nobody's calling know. to help. No. It, it is fermented tofu. Okay. Don't look at me. Fermented tofu. They eat that and they're happy for the rest of the day. <laughs> Here's your left field question. When was the first time you ever had sushi? Oh, sushi, 1971. All right. Okay. Was it raw? I don't know. <laughs> it's too long ago. I don't eat now. No. All right. No. What food in a Chinese restaurant is described the following way? It's a cylindrical food made of fried egg dough that is filled with meat or shrimp. Egg roll. Bamboo shoots. Egg Good roll job. is right. Yes. Yeah. Eight for Tom and Joe. Five for me and Linnell. Yes. In, my, in my younger days, I would, I would just about eat anything. Now. <laughs> <laughs> what do you call a Chinese cake usually eaten around mid-autumn? Delicious. <laughs> oh. Left field. I don't know that one at usually all. Usually eaten around mid-autumn in a festival. Uh, call in Linnell. Call in Tom. And the word cake is in parenthes- in uh, quotation, Chinese so I'm guessing cake. it's not really a cake, but it's called a cake. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's like, it's, I bet you it's that flat bread that has all different tastes in it. Is it tiramisu? Sour. No, that's no. Italian. No. I think. I don't know. Yes, tiramisu is <laughs> Italian. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I got left field. I'm All right, left field. Uh, Nobody's helping. It is, is it? Uh, it is called moon cake. Moon oh, cake. Moon, cake. moon cake. After the Reverend Moon. I wonder if <laughs> yeah, we had maybe. that. You never know. All right, here's uh, your left field question. Do you ever say anything in Chinese to the waitress at a Chinese restaurant? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. <laughs> that means yes in <laughs> Chinese. Yeah. Really? Or Japanese. Is, yeah. Hi. Good <laughs> job. That's all I know. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, she looks at me strange. Hi, what, what do you is, want? What does it mean when you point chopsticks at someone? Uh, you want to get to know them? Point chopsticks. What does it mean? No. Directions. No, no, no. Uh, don't mess with me. Left field. <laughs> uh, Robin is close, but not close enough. You have insulted me. Yes, insulted. Oh, good job. Yes, it's an insult. Yes. You have yeah, insulted Joe. me, and I don't take nothing from you no more. I'm going to put my stick straight up and down. Ah. <laughs> How do you use chopsticks to mm. eat rice? You scoop it into your mouth. Yes, you, you scoop, the, scoop the rice in Good your job. mouth. You bring the bowl up to your mouth. Yeah. You scoop Good it job. in. Oh, ha, I know some things sometimes. Well, <laughs> how to do that one. Eleven for Tom and uh, Joe. Let me practice. Now. Big mouth, little bowl. <laughs> Why is it impolite uh-huh. to use the chopsticks like drumsticks and bang on the table? It's an insult. <laughs> Why is it insulting, though? What, what are you basically saying? The food is bad. No. These utensils are no good. <laughs> <laughs> no. You're saying, oh, oh, you're impatient. You no, want more food to come, and they're not You're saying something about enough. yourself, but not that. I don't know how to use chopsticks. Uh, you're arrogant. <laughs> <laughs> you're arrogant. No, no, no. Left Le- field. <laughs> oh. Oh, she beat me on that okay. one. It means that you are a beggar. I'm a beggar. You're oh, a beggar. Oh, makes sense. If you're drumming on the table with the dro- with the chopsticks, you're a beggar. Okay. We'll be doing the, I'm uh, a beg. the other. What are we doing now? The uh, uh, left field. field question. Here we go. Do you use a fork or chopsticks? Oh. A fork. Of course. Use a fork. I yeah. keep forgetting about chopsticks. You use a weapon. Oh, That's right. oh don't insult us. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, if there is, say, one prawn left on the dish plate and you want it, what should you do? Take it. You should offer it to the other person. Yes, ask anyone if, anyone, if anyone wants it. That's yes. right. Who, or who wins? Uh, Tom and Joe win with 11. <laughs> Linnell and I have seven. Tom, pick up your grand prize. And, and Linnell, you have two tickets to the rodeo. So you can both stop and say hi. Yes. We've got more things, more rodeo tickets to give away during a week. Please listen and pass the word. This is... The LCA. The source. Broadcasting from the Paddock Mall Studios, this is WOCA, Ocala, Gainesville, The Villages, 1370 AM, 96.3 FM, The Source. Fox News Radio, I'm Pat O'Neill. Donald Trump to speak Wednesday in Arizona, reportedly to clarify his position on how he'd deal with illegal immigrants if he becomes president. In recent weeks, he's been talking about deporting the bad ones, but some of the rest, at least, may be able to stay. Some conservatives are saying, oh my goodness, he's talking about amnesty. Donald Trump specifically saying this is not amnesty. Nobody who stays gets to have a path to citizenship unless they leave the country and come back in. Fox's John Roberts. Operations returning to normal at Los Angeles International Airport. 
airport after false reports of a gunman firing shots. Rob Pedregon of LAPD. We're just glad that everything was safe and that there were no uh, injuries. We're just proud of the way our officers and partners responded. Almost 300 flights were delayed. A woman under arrest in Southern California for driving on the right rim of her car, allegedly sparking several wildfires. Police say the woman was high on drugs. Fox News, we report, you decide. For me, 